In this video, we're going to put the concepts from the last couple of videos together by adding some attributes for the size of the plain purple shirt and then adding the appropriate variants to the product. So again, this is something you'll do a lot of, especially if you have products that have more than one set of attributes. So let's go ahead back into attributes and we'll add a new attribute called size. Click add attribute and let's configure the terms. The terms here are going to be small, medium, large, etc, etc. So I'm going to go extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. Now, as you probably have already guessed, this is going to create quite a set of variants. Each color style will also be available in each size. All right, let's head back over to our product and let's edit our plain purple shirt. Now, as you remember, we have our attributes. So let's add our attributes. So we'll add size and we'll select all the terms and click use for variations and click save attributes. And now click on variations and we'll create variations from all attributes. Click go and once again we'll get this warning, click OK and WooCommerce is going to do its thing. 15 variations added, click close and now you'll see for each of the styles of shirts, we have a variation. We'll leave the price of each at the same. That's pretty typical. Click Update. So if we come back over to our store, you'll see our purple shirt, select options. And now we have our style click on polo, and now we get to choose the option for that style. Click on medium, and we can add to cart. When we add to cart and view the cart, you'll see that the two variations, plain purple shirt polo style with the size of medium is indeed selected. So you can add variations or variants to products as much as you need.